Moving on to the next question. As per Sushruta, which of the following Yoni Vyapat has been mentioned as Duk Prasushchaya? So in Sushruta Samhita, uh, when we see in Prasramsini, it is told as Prasramsini Syandate Tu Kshobita Duk Prasushchaya. So by this, we can know that this is uh, told for Prasramsini. When we look into the other options, then for Lohita Kshara, it is told as Saddaham Praksharati Asram. And for Putragni, it is told as Stitam Stitam Hanti Garbam. And Vamini, it is told as Savadam Udgire Bijam Vamini Rajasayutam. So by this, we know that Duk Prasushchaya is told for Prasramsin. Next question is Acharya Sushruta has mentioned Siddhartha Kataila Uttarabhasti in the management of which of the following condition? So it is a very direct question. Acharya Sushruta has mentioned Siddhartha Kataila Uttarabhasti for Aparapatana. The next question is, in which month Kshira Yavagu is indicated for Garbhini according to Bela Samhita? It is also a direct question. So Bela Samhita, in the fourth month of Garbhini, Kshira Navanitam is indicated. And in fifth month, Kshira Yavagu and sixth month, Kshira Sarpi is indicated. So by this, the answer uh, is the Kshira Yavagu is indicated for Garbhini in the fifth month. When we see the next question, uh, the question is, uh, Garbhani attains Karshyam in which month of pregnancy according to Kashyapa Samhita. So here Kashyapa Samhita is uh, mentioned al uh, similar to Charaka Samhita, almost similar to Charaka Samhita. So in the fifth month, the Garbhani attains Karshyam. And in the, uh, so when we say according to Kashyapa Samhita, Kashyapa Acharya has told in the fourth month, there will be Guru Gatratva Madhikam and fifth month Karshyam, sixth month Shramo Adhikam and seventh month, the Garbhani will be Nitya Klanta. So by this, uh, the Garbhini attains Karshim in the fifth month of pregnancy. When we look into the next question, according to Harita, Ardha Chandra Shastra is used for the extraction of, it is a direct question and Harita has told to use Ardha, Shastra, uh, Ardha Chandra Shastra for extracting the Mrida Garbha. Now when we see the next question, according to Harita, Panchakola Yavagu is indicated for the management of which of the following Muda Garbha. So it is also a direct question. Harita has told seven types of Mudagarbha and in which Panchakola Yavagu is told to be used for Vadaja Mudagarbha. Now when we see the next question, according to Sushruta, Artava Atipravarti, Angamardham and Daurgandhyam are the features of which of the following? So it is also a direct question. Uh, when we look into Sushruta Sutra Sthanam 15th chapter, Dosha Dhatu Malak Shaya Vriddhi Vikyaniyam under the Upadhatu Vriddhi, uh, it is told in Artava Vriddhi that the uh, symptoms seen will be Artava Atipravarti, Angamardo Daurgandhyam Cha. So, these are the symptoms of Artava Vriddhi. When we see the other options, then in Asrikdharam, uh, in Sushruta Shariram 2nd chapter, it is told as Asrikdharo Bhavet Sarvahasa Angamardha Sa Vedana. And in Dekta Gulmam, it is told as Masi Masi Tada Artavam Uparugdhya Manam Kukshim Abhivardhati and there will be not much pain and uh, pain will not be seen. So, uh, the features of Artava Atipravarti, Angamardham and Daurgandhyam is seen in Artava Vritti. When we move on to the next question, according to Sushruta, Garba Aspandanam and Anunnata Kukshita is the features of. So, again, when we look into Sushruta Sutra Sthanam 15th chapter, Dosha Dhatu Malak Shayavriddhi Vijnaniyam, then under the Garbhakshayam, it is told as Garbha Aspandanam Anunnata Kukshita. Now, when we see the next uh, options of this question, then uh, when we look into Garbha Patham, the features is told as Garbhashya Kati Vangshana Vastik Shulani Rekta Darshanam Cha. And in Muda Garbham, it is told as Tameva Kadachit Vivriddham Asamya Kagatam Apatya Patham Anupraptam Anirasya Manam Vigunam Apanam Garbham Muda Garbham. And in Mrida Garbam, the features are Garba Aspandanam Avinam Pranashaha Shyava Panduta Bhavat Yuchvasa Putitvam Shulam Cha is seen. So by this it is clear that Garba Aspandanam and Anunnata Kukshita is the features of Garba Kshaya Lakshana. Now when we see the next question, it is a direct question. 
So according to Vagbhata, Yoni Vata Vikaraknam Tat Pitam Garbadam Param. So this is the uh, Phalashruti of Kashmir Yadi Krita. When we look into the next question, the question is, the patient is having six weeks amenorrhea. Which of the following sign will confirm the pregnancy through per vaginal examination? So when we see in Goodell sign, the Goodell sign is due to increased vascularity, the cervix will become blue and soft to touch. So we know that uh, in the six weeks amenorrhea means the patient is in the first trimester. And this Goodell sign, the examination is done per vaginally. So the answer is Goodell sign. When we look into the other options, then pickaxe sign is there and it is the blastosis usually implants laterally. And so due to asymmetrical growth of the uterus, the area of implantation will be softer than the rest. So by this we can know that this is not a per vaginal examination. The next is the Montagmary sign. So here the breast enlarges and due to increased vascularity, it leads to the veins seen under the skin of the breast and the nipple and areola will become darkened and sebaceous glands around the areola will enlarge and are called as Montagmary tubercles. So it is also clearly visible that this is also not a pervaginal sign. And when we see clem sign, it is seen in chronic appendicitis. So by this we can conclude that Goodell sign can be used uh, to confirm the pregnancy in this given patient. When we see the next question, it is a direct question. According to Kashyapa, Gridapanam Pratamataha Shasyati is indicated in which of the following disease? So Kashyapa Sutrasthanam Kshirodpati Adhyayam in Stana Kilaka it is clearly mentioned to give first Gridapanam Gridapanam Pratamataha Shasyati. When we look into the next question, it is also a direct question. Mission Indra Danush depicting seven colors of the rainbow initiated targeting targeting to immunize children against seven life-threatening disease is launched in which year? So Mission Indra Danush was launched in 2014. So the answer is 2014. The next question is to fill in the blanks. So it is told as Avyahata Bala Anga Ayur Arogyo Vartate Sukham Shishu Datror Anapatti Dash Lakshana. So this is a direct question and the answer is Shuddha Kshirasya Lakshana. When we see the next question, then in the context of Kaumara Bhritya, Hanavya is. So it is clearly visible, uh, uh, it is a direct question. Hanavya is a type of Danta. When we move on to the next question, according to Kashyapa Samhita, which of the following Svedana Chikitsa is recommended for a child of 3 months? So when we see in Kashyapa Sutra Sthanam Svedhadhyayam, then it is told that Asta Svedam is given for Jatasya Chaturo Masan. That is up to fourth month and Patasvedam is given after six years. So uh, this patient is in the three months of age and up to fourth month Hastasvedam is increased, uh, indicated. So the answer is Hastasvedam. When we move on to the next question, which of the following is advised as common Anupana for Abhyantara Snehapanam for any type of Snehadravya by Kashyapa? So again, when we see Kashipa Samita Sutra Stanam Sneha Dhyayam, then the different Anupanas for different Snehas is told. So for Grita Ushnodakam is indicated and for Thailam Yusham and for Vasa and Majja Mandam is indicated and Ushnodakam is told as Sarvak Sneha Anupanam. So the answer is Ushnajalam. When we look into the next question, according to Kashipa, which among the following Dupa is recommended for Kabaja Rogam and during Grishmakalam? So when we see, then in Kashtipa Samhita, Kalpasthanam, uh, Dupana is told and 40 different types of Dupas has been explained. So in that, for the Kabaja Rogam and during Grishma Kalam and for Shakuni, Poundrika, Revati, Graham, etc. Varuna Dupam is indicated. So the answer is Varuna Dupam. When we see the other options, then Agniya Dupam is told for Brahmananam Visheshena Sarva Rogeshu Shasyate is told. And Shri Dupam is told for Shri Kamesh. When we see the next question, it is a direct question. So the question is, which of the following deficiencies during pregnancy is the cause for neural tube defects in fetus? And the answer is fo folate deficiency. So, um, when we see the other options, then if calcium deficiency is there, then for the fetus, there will be risk of stunted growth and also osteoporosis. And if vitamin C deficiency is there, 
then uh, there will be the risk of preeclampsia and miscarriage is seen. And if zinc deficiency is there, then there will be increased fetal dose and congenital malformations, low birth weight and intrauterine growth retardation, preterm delivery, etc. can be seen. When we move on to the next question, it is also a direct question. So the question is, a toddler is brought to the clinic with complaints of painful swellings in the limbs and increased irritability. On examination of oral cavity, gingival hypertrophy and bleeding gums were seen. What is the probable diagnosis? So these are the symptoms which is seen in vitamin C, that is ascorbic acid deficiency. When we move on to the next question, then it is an assertion and reasoning question and it is a direct question. So in the assertion, it is told as, even though the ratio of ghee and honey are in, are in equal quantity in Chavana Prasham, they are not harmful. They are not virudna. So it is a true statement. And in reason, it is told that many other ingredients are used along with ghee and honey. Hence, they are not virudna. This is also true. And so the answer is both A and R are true. And R is the correct explanation of A.